Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I asked you guys on my Instagram to submit your dancer problem. So let's just hop right in the video and get started. Not being able to go places with friends and family because I have dance. Every dancer has to say no. Want to go to the movies? No, I have dance. No way, Jose. You want to go out tonight? No, I have dance. Want... No way, Jose. Want to go shopping? No, I have dance. No way, Jose. Every dancer says that classic line. So this is, this is so relatable. I relate to that one so much. Even down to this, where it's like I have my graduation and it's, no, I have dance. Or how about prom? No, I have dance. Like, it's that bad, guys. That bad when you're a dancer, saying no to everything. The girls who try and bring you down to make themselves seem better. You know, this happens all the time, but the best thing to do is just kill them with kindness because they're probably going through something, and that's why they're taking it on, out on you. So just try to be nice to everyone, even if they're not being as nice back because you never know what someone's going through at that time. Another thing could also be you have your turns down, you're nailing your turn, and then they're not getting it that day and it's just taking them a little bit longer. So that could be another reason why you should just be calm and patient and just realize that it might be something like that. Shaving. When you're dancing six to seven days a week and your arms are like this 24 seven, you have to shave basically every day. So it is a pain, pain. Like just answering this question feels painful. Being so tired the next day. Girl, that's every day when you're dancing, like all day long until the night and then you don't know if you have a rehearsal or a show and then your sleep schedule is so off. Plus I'm such a late night person, which is not good. So I get that, being tired the next day. I love this one, dancer problems. All, yes, all, I feel that. <laughs> I associate every song with the dance I have done. Yes, I'll be out shopping or doing something and then a song will come on from a dance I had a long time ago and I'll just start like doing it in my head. And you know, I feel like that is just gonna like happen all throughout your life. The song's gonna come on and you're gonna remember it from a dance, so yes. I kinda like that one though because it's like a memory that you're remembering a dance or a past dance you've done. When your point shoe ribbon breaks. I have been in class way too many times and then you always see someone raise their hand and they're like, my point shoe ribbon just broke off, can I go fix it? And the teacher's always like, sure, go fix it, but next time sew it better or just next time don't have this. And it's like, you spend so much time sewing that it's so frustrating. <laughs> when you're putting, oh my gosh, this question. When you're putting on your point shoes, but you realize that you ran out of tape. I think this is the most annoying thing that's happened to me so much. When you think you have your toe tape and you're taping all your toes and then it's the end. And you still have all your toes to finish taping. And you still have more classes that you need tape for and then you have to go up to someone and be like, can I borrow your tape please? And they're like, they're not gonna say no, but when they say yes, they're like, sure. So this one is definitely annoying bruises everywhere okay i will wake up and there will just be a bruise somewhere and i'm just like dance and you go out with your family or friends and someone's like oh do you know you have a bruise there and you're like yes dance from dance i don't know how i don't know when but dance 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 it's from dance when your teacher says one more time but you end up doing it like 10 more times when they say this it's just like you know you just know that it's not one more time. You just have to put a zero after the one and then that's being realistic because it's never one more time. You have a blister but you still have to do class. This happens to me all the time and a great tip for this is use second skin. You can get it at some pharmacies but I order mine online at Amazon and I try to tape my toes with it. You can still get a blister but it will help you sometimes. Okay, that kind of got off topic, but yes, blisters are painful and you always love to do class with them. The dancer light. That was 
weird and annoying, but I I forgot to point my toes. Same. Getting my ponytail perfect. I have a funny story. Funny for you, but not not for me. Not for me funny at all. But when I was younger, I would used to wet my whole head of hair just so I can get the perfect low pony or high pony just so I had the perfect hair, I would completely wet it. I don't do that now, I promise you guys, that's crazy. But now I just practice, 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 and it's super easy to do. But also, a good tip is to use clear mascara so you get those like little annoying flyaways that everyone hates and they go away. Broke my leg. First off, I'm sorry girl. Feel better, get better. If this happened in the past, I hope you're better now. Or if this happening now, I'm sending you my love. But I have had to get my extra bone removed on both of my feet. A lot of dancers have experienced this, but I actually got it done at the same time, the same exact time. And it was difficult. It was definitely a journey, but I am all better now. And I was super happy that I was even able to continue dancing. I can't touch my toes and I've never been able to. So I got told to stop dancing. No, don't stop. Whoever told you to stop? Don't listen to them. Listen to me and I'm telling you to continue dancing. Not being good enough. This is a good one. I just feel like people never feel like they're good enough, but you just have to take a deep breath and just relax and always just focus on getting yourself better and just be the best version of you that you can be. Don't try to be good enough for someone because that will never happen. Just be good enough for yourself. And that just comes with like self-love and just with like dance in general, but you are good enough. I'm telling you, you are. Spotting. Mine is never sharp enough. <laughs> okay, when I was at my first studio, Breaking Grounds, I'm watching this, hey, but my teacher, Miss Marissa, would always tell me to spot my turns, so every time I see her, I'm like, I always bring that up. I'm like, spotting my turns, spotting my turns counting how many turns I do because I would always used to just turn and then stop and she'd be like so how many turns did you do and I'd be like I don't know five and she'd be like no you did seven turns I'm like I, I, I can't count while I'm spotting so yes girl yes girl having soreness after class this will happen every day every week every month this will just always happen my big toe won't <laughs> My big toe won't point with my other toes. This has happened to me so many times and you just like, in your head you're like, big toe, point. Like just point, like why can't you point with the rest of you, your toes? Just listen to them. My shoes keep breaking. If you're talking about like your point shoes being dead, my point shoes get dead so easily. I will go through so many bottles like this big of Jet Blue that it's, it's unhealthy. Bobby pins. I have had millions of bobby pins you put your hair up you use bobby pins you put them down you don't realize where you put them they're in your dance bag bobby pins are the essential of life of dance life bobby pins are a part of you because they're on your head every single day so yes bobby pins i suck please help my little brother sent this one so i don't know why he sent it but i will talk to him after i'm filming this video i don't know why i'm filming at this angle Walking in point shoes, especially when I'm on shoots, actually always when I'm on shoots, I'm always walking in point shoes, I never will take them off. And especially with Jordan, yes you Jordan, Jordan Matter, I will always be in my point shoes and I can't take them off. And this will last four hours, five hours, six hours, 24 hours of walking in my point shoes. This has happened to me way too many times of just being in the city and limping around with my point shoes for over 24 hours. And no joke, this happened to me like three weeks, the classic, needing to pee when you just put your leotard on. Honestly, there's just nothing you can do about it, but me, I pee so many times, so I have to deal with that situation every hour, and it's, it's not fun. Love you a zillion. The way you pose is just amazing. Thank you, love you too. I'm always first at bar and it's unfair because I have to remember everything. Yeah, you do, girl, because then everyone's looking at you and relying on you and there's no way you can get out of this unless your school just lets you stand wherever you are. 
But if they're not, then it's all on you, girl. I'm wishing you luck. Too embarrassed to dance in front of people. Don't be. Just let it go and just have fun and be in the moment. I'm telling you, the second you let things go, you'll do great. When you forget your ouch pouches for point or like your toe pads at home. I forgot them one time at home. And a lot of people use paper towels and that's fine. But I tried to use paper towels and then the second I got out of class, I had blisters all over my feet. I was in so much pain. So I always now triple check that I have my toe pads. Also, I have learned to keep a spare pair of toe pads in your locker or your bag. Now that's what I do. So if I don't have them and I forget them, I'm just like, oh, I have another pair. <laughs> Wedgies from tights. I'm just gonna leave it there. Wedgies from tights. Injuries, I hate them. We all hate injuries. I love my dad. Okay, let's guess who sent that. Everyone, let's take a minute. My dad sent that. He sends questions like that every time I ask, ask me anything. Some at this, some at that. My dad always will just be like, do you love your dad? You must love your dad. I love your dad. You love your dad. And I'm like, dad, why are you sending all these questions to me? But I guess it's just a dad thing. When your point shoes are dead, but you're too lazy to sew a new pair. Don't get me started on this. Because my point shoes will die on me. And I'll use JetBlue once, twice, three times. And then it's just like, you physically can't wear them anymore, but you just like don't have the energy late at night to sew a new pair for an hour or two hours. So, so frustrating. Cause it's like your shoes are dead. You're not gonna be able to do class in super dead shoes, but you don't want to actually sew them. So then this is me with my eyes closed at night sewing. And then I'll poke myself because I'm so tired and my finger will start bleeding and then I'll eventually finish it. <laughs> when normal people say dance is so easy. Normal people will be like, dance is easy, dance is easy, dance is easy. And you're just like, have, have you ever danced? Like, like, have you ever taken a dance class? Have you ever been in dance? And then it, it's just so frustrating and you're not gonna say anything to them, but you're just trying to keep it in your life. Dance is not, dance is not easy. And then if they try to dance, they'll be like, girl, dance is so not easy. And you're like, you just said it was a month ago. And that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to answer as many of your dancer problems that you submitted. There was tons more, but maybe I'll do this again if you guys liked it. So give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I love you guys so much. And us dancers got to stick together and I love you. You guys love me? Why did I just say that? It's like that, it's like the Elmo song. I'm like, hi. You, you love me. We're a happy family. I love you, you love me. We're one big happy family. I don't know why it sounded like that. Okay, moving on from that. So, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, I don't know why that worked didn't work because I was like bye also I'm in LA hello LA okay actually bye now